Right, beam back down to the first city. Okay. Go talk to our uh, controller. to Vishnach. A long range sensors have picked up limited information only picked up limited information about this mysterious vault station. Based on our scans, it's a massive star base and a small ship like a fighter or a shuttle could easily slip into the maintenance areas and possibly some of the interior. Um, since the Romulans excel in cloaking technology, command has decided that a cunning uh, will cunning will be more important than strength. Your task will be to infiltrate the station by a shuttle or other small craft, like a harmless gobsfly. Understood. Also, Republic Intelligence will be sending along one of their best with you on this operation, Commander Talmira. She's been fully briefed and will transport to your vessel as soon as you are ready to uh, depart for Hakona. I trust this won't be a problem, Commander. Not at all. Could this be related to the Imperial uh, attempts to destabilise the Imperial houses? That's something that we've been involved with earlier. Uh, unlikely, these days the Romulan Star Empire, one hand doesn't know what the other is doing, as the Terrans say. If something arises that changes our estimation of this you will be notified why not simply attack the station and take what we want a station of that size will be too dangerous to make a main force attack without a massive investment of ships and how would we garrison and hold it once captured it's simply too large to easily staff notwithstanding the trouble of disarming traps and dealing with Captured Romulans and their strange technologies. We have no way of knowing what uh, kind of fleets might be stationed there. Perhaps nothing. Perhaps the main wing of the Star Navy, uh, Star Empire's navy. We need information before we can commit to a battle. What can I expect at the vault? The station itself is too large to cloak. Our weapons engineers indicate the scans have it detected signs of Borg weaponry and Thaleron technology. There's also some combat that, uh, in that area shortly after the Hobus supernova, but it's, uh, now it's been uh, quiet. What if I need support? IKS Rezipa uh, will remain cloaked at the edge of the Romulan space and uh, ready for rapid incursion and pick up if uh, the need should arise. In the event of overwhelming enemy force, of course, we will expect you to either make a clever escape or die gloriously. No more questions. Continue. Head to the shipyard and requisition a shuttlecraft. Size doesn't matter is what we've just been awarded. Or so back to the transporter area back up to the shipyard talk to transporter chief to the shipyard Speak with the shuttle information officer at, in the shipyard. Shuttle information. Is that the shuttle? That's the shuttle information officer. Shuttle information. I was told to report to you. I can provide you with the necessary information on shuttles in general, so feel free to ask whatever you want. 
when you are ready to actually claim your shuttle, you will need to sp uh, to speak to the ship and shuttle requisition officer. Right. Don't worry about that. The rest, another time. Acquire. Get a new s starship, but this time we are talking all ranks and we want the shuttles and fighters oh. let's just see if it's under the lieutenants first yes they are have that one with what we've already got. That one, which is a standard shuttle, we can't. There's but we actually have a benefit that we can pick up. We can pick up this one. Price, nothing. Got that for a, as a reward. So we'll pick up the the fighter, but we'll also pick up the cling the basic Klingon shuttle as well. Right. Manage ships. So there is the fighter. The advantage of going with a shuttle is you get three sixty fire. Yeah. Here we should have far more punch. Before we do commit to that, let's actually do well, yeah, let's do it now. Manage ships. Save. Save there, right. Um, Switch to small craft. And do some temporary. Temporary uh, shenanigans. That's the heavy, that's heavy. Oh, just So I'm taking the equipment, basically beefing up the shuttle's equipment with the uh, equipment from the fighter's equipment rather than shuttle's equipment. So there is no science console, but there is an engineering console and there are two so put that back on the science take the other there Devices. Yeah, always useful to have shield battery shields batteries available. Okay.
Right. So we have a fighter that's equipped. Stations. Small ship. Who to take? Who? What makes most sense? Probably the ability to have a quick heal. Taking our science uh, guy. Speak to transporter operator. Return to the ship, but it should take us to the fighter. There we are when we zoom in. Uh, we haven't got a lot of controls. We don't need a lot of controls, but at the same point, it makes sense to put stuff where we expect to find. Cannons rapid fire. Brace impacts. Distribute shield power. Engine capacitor, we don't want you. Evasive maneuvering. Fire on my mark. Hazard emitters. I don't think that will work. Cannot be used while piloting a small craft ramming. Right. Oh, we've got the other. Uh, we haven't got the science uh, chief. We've got the junior, but no worries. Purchase skills. Weapon amplification. Yeah. Purchase. Purchase. Battery safe, uh, battery expertise, yes. And critical chance of the projectiles, yes. Okay, so let's. Hang on, they're still saying we've got more skills. Another space skill to go for. Damage control, hold plating. Shield regeneration, go with that. Let's try maneuvering. Ooh, very maneuverable. Then you'd expect it. Okay, so let's leave the deep station or oh, system, go to war and take ourselves to The Harkona system. Water navigate. Let's just see how far it is. Ooh. Halfway across the map. We might just use the transport facility. Okay, enter the Harkonus si uh, system. Obviously, this station isn't as abandoned as Intel suspected. Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area, and that's just the ones that we can spot. That station is immense! It must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. It's almost the size of a small moon. 
Sensors are reading a sophisticated tachyon detection network, as well as several patrolling vessels. For an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. My people are experts at stealth technology. If we want to approach unseen, we must avoid confrontation and find a way to evade or jam their sensor grid. We must assume that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whoever is left on the station, and it may become difficult to find an entry point. Right. Avoid patrol ships and evade sensor nets while approaching the vault. Consult with your officers for any options. Consult with some the demons are all over this system. If we Can start a fight with one of the ships, I'm going to just alter the s sound levels again. Voice is full. Right, try that again. The Remans are all over this system. If we start a fight with one of the ships, we'll probably have to fight them all. And there's no telling how many are cloaked here. We have a number of possible options to explore. Communication shuttle. All of the construction work out here must have required the use of a lot of worker shuttles and a communication booster. We might be able to dig up some information about the station's communication network if we can find a subspace relay satellite. The Remans are all over this system. Sensors are reading a small, derelict worker ship near some of the asteroid debris. We might find helpful clues there. So that's a science officer. What? The Remans are all over the... The material requirements to make a base of that size must have been enormous. There's a lot of stellar debris here. Probably remnants of asteroids or fragments from moons that were mined for raw materials. We might be able to do something useful with them. One of the large asteroids has a navigational beacon. The tall Shi'ar must have placed it there for some reason. The Remans are all over this system. There's a small patch of nebula gases near the station. The static discharges in the area are highly intense. We may be able to cover an approach to the station by traveling through the nebula. And this would be risky, because the nebula would cloud our tactical displays and interfere with our shields but it would almost certainly keep the station's sensor grid from detecting us until we're right on top of them. Right. The Remans are all over this. So we've got various options. First off, I'd like to do some quick looting. If we can stay away from the patrols. We can't loot while cloaked, so just gonna go in there, loot this. And then going to cloak up. So I'm cloaked. That uh, isn't proof against. So uh, there, asteroid fragment. Let's just go investigate. Do scan large asteroid. This asteroid is unusually large, and it's clearly been mined. It was probably used for raw construction materials, like most of the debris here. This particular asteroid contains pergium, titanium, and uranium. It was probably tractored from a nearby system and brought here to construct hull components and power systems. We could probably cut a piece from the asteroid with our weapons for further analysis. picked up a bit of residual energy from our weapon burst. It'll be radiating energy for a while. Other than that, it's just a rock. Right. We're not engineering, so we can't make the use of that at the moment. So we'll go and we'll look at the other...
that's it down there. There. Indications are that this vessel was refitted for asteroid mining. Apparently, a containment failure in the engine core led to a massive radiation surge. The engine went into emergency shutdown, but all of the couplings and injectors were burned out. The crew probably died due to instant radiation burns. It looks like the vessel was stripped for parts and left derelict. Right. We aren't a science officer. Well, we're not a science officer. So... something glowing up there so let's go and investigate that there is flash off it so that is there we go subspace booster relay tactical traffic analysis looks like they left this satellite as a communications booster for their short-range worker shuttles fortunately for us it's still active Unfortunately, it's heavily encrypted. Traffic analysis shows that the network routes its communications through a series of nodes at the station's dorsal peaks. If we flood them with excessive signal, it could cause the network to be unable to handle any signal traffic, which would give us a brief window to slip in. The alerts wouldn't go off because the station would never get the signal. We'll still have to avoid the patrols and make sure we don't get too close to the station until we make the broadcast. Okay, we have a route in. So we'll cloak up again. Bear in mind, the tachyon grid will pick up cloaked ships, so... Right, we're coming up to our area. There's the grid coming in. So Approaching the tachyon grid perimeter. If we're detected by it, that will definitely alert the Remans. So Station sensor hub jammed. And we've crossed. Right. Enter station. In we go. Picking up some unusual energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there is another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. The sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. Right. a moon. That's not a moon. We've tripped some security systems. Doors. The doors are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmenting the different parts of the base. Possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong in one of the central areas. Access appears to be controlled by use of security keys. We can disable it if we can find a code block that matches part of a security key. This defense turret was hooked into part of the security network. There's a security code in its subsystem, code block 6750. The security key is on a rotation. Each code block matches a piece of one key. Key in the appropriate code when the rotation matches to it. Trying a code on the wrong rotation will probably invalidate that code, so be careful with the timing. It's changed once, changed twice. There we 
go. That's it. Well done. We should be able to bypass the system and gain access now. Right. The doors are opening. Well, sort of. We certainly wouldn't have got our starship in here. Even a small raptor as it is. Whoa, there's power. Scanny PPS ducks. There's still power in most of the station. Some of these conduits are damaged. Keep an eye out for energy discharges. So scan is fine. Microgravity storage crates. Mostly construction supplies. No weapons or unusual energy signatures. Transferred as we tried to go through. That wasn't so clever. We seem to have set up an alarm. As soon as it goes off there. triggering it that time. Above us, that's a Borg Sphere. The Tal Shiar must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. Spear is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long-range scans detected. Looks like the spear is hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. the door. Okay, it's just that it seems to be the navigation marker uh, here does seem to be well off. Right, so it's not this frame, it's the next frame. it goes off we go through and we try and do identify what's going on with these so it's the side is going off so presumably that one will go off next
not. So this one does go off. You wait. As soon as it goes off again, you go through. There we go. Told us that it was around the other side of the pier. Uh, this is disturbing. We're looking at a facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the manor. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? Three. Does it really matter? Call me Obasek, if a name is that important to you. What are you doing here? That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more... curious. I expect that you are operating under the Shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. Neither of us is supposed to be here, I suspect. Never rely on the noble intentions of spies and thieves, Captain. And you and I are either one or the other. My only intention is to determine what is amiss in this station. You are suitably informed now, I trust. Sadly for you, one of my ships has already finished loading the Thaleron weapons. So you have become the only loose end in my operation. I despise loose ends. I am afraid our time is at an end. My associates have already finished loading the Thaleron weapons that we need, and I have other operations to manage. I think we both know what happens now. May your death be quick and valorous. Okay, continue. Right. Where are his... fly too close to the uh, trailer on um, just there they are first slot so we'll cloak again now no we're gonna have to uncloak because we have tractor beams and locking mechanisms okay so Right. I'm not. Oh, 
want to keep our weapons well uh, yeah I want to keep our weapons powered basically so I'm not going to um, um, put everything into right so this is the one where it's on the side then the middle there it goes Gonna get I don't think we're gonna get through. Stop. Yeah, we would have been caught. And stop. Wait for the middle. Ooh, we got caught. Thankfully it didn't trigger the, didn't decloak us. I was expecting it to turn our cloak off. Right, so we have a, war, uh, a large warship on the other side there. I have a sneaking suspicion we can take that. Bear in mind we are cloaked. It doesn't, it knows it's on alert. Oh, he's got to cloak by the looks of it. Where is it? There it is. So we're behind it, which is just where we want it to be. There. Nice to have that little secret weapon. Or well, not so secret. Blast the door locks. Yeah, there's fighters there. up our systems. to ambush us there. I'm surprised the doors opened, but they did. Right, what's in here? Oh, there we go. That should be easy target. Particularly if we can get round to the side. a shuttle. Like I said, an easy 
target. Okay. Exit station. We need to alert the KDF to Obasek's plan. Once we are clear of the station interior, we can send a message by using the subspace booster satellite. Then we will have little choice but to keep the Remans occupied until reinforcements can arrive. I suggest evasive action when that occurs. Though you may feel otherwise, I do not believe today is a good day to die. Okay, exit station. Reinforcements have arrived and are just past that nebula. We don't have much time. We need to meet with our allies and stop that ship. All right. All right, let's talk to... We are now in the micro nebula. IKS Azadbur is signaling us. They're going to engage the Riemann ship, but they want us to take care of the fighters and plasma torpedoes. Right, nobody's got any shields here now, so this is... going to leave the system under high warp to draw off any reinforcements that might come looking. Suggest you return to King on Space. Continue. Depart system. Debrief with Vishka, go to Kronos first city. Okay, so you know it's distant, so we'll transwarp. Of a Cronus or back at where the heck are we? Still outside the Harkona system. That oh, should do the trick. That was fun. All right, we've really did go right into the Cronus system. Oh, before we go any further... So we can easily get the 
stuff back onto our uh, without the extra kit that we were carrying. Beam to First City. Debrief with Mishka. Vishka. Suppose we should expect the Romulans would research weapons like Theron technologies. The division with the Remans, though, could be exploited. I'm sure that Tamek will have me analysing data for the next several days. Drop by again to see what we've uncovered. Continue. A civil war may well be brewing within uh, between the Romulans and the Remans. We could use this as a wedge to break off some parts of the Star Empire, or at the very least keep them so busy that we can stabilise our borders and commit our forces elsewhere. Between Selar, uh, Selar and, or Selar, and this uh, new warrior on the scene, Obisek, the Romans and Remans are pitted in a battle between two charismatic leaders. Still, a conflict of this scope usually isn't a sort planned by raw revolutionaries and partisans. Someone has an eye on the bigger picture and we need to make sure that there uh, isn't a hidden hand. And on that note, I think we're through here. Kupla, turn to Temlek. Talk to Temlek. Excellent. We need to learn more about the conflict between Obesek and the Romulans. If Sila is stupid enough to wage war against our own vassals, we might be able to use the conflict to our advantage. You were right, however, to destroy the Thaleron weapons. They are the tools of a coward! I would rather look my enemy in the eye as he dies. Klingon intelligence will be working to decode the list of possible targets you acquired from the basis databanks. The next step is to find out why the Remans want to attack these locations. Right, so there's no choices, it's just simply... Congratulations, Commander!